James, morning. How are you? Morning, Leo. I'm well, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Uh, James, monthly market commentary. It's that time again. Could you talk us through April? Yes. Uh, well, thankfully, most markets have had a positive month. As you know, they took a big hit during March due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 crisis, with many indices having their worst month since the global financial crisis. But many of them have at least recovered some of their losses in what's been a positive month. So UK stocks, uh, measured by the FTSE 100, they've gained nearly 4%. Uh, and medium and smaller UK companies, which suffered particularly badly during the downturn, they've both gained nearly 10%. European stocks have risen around 5%. And US companies have done particularly well. They gained nearly 13% during the month. Uh, and it's also been a good month for emerging markets. They've risen nearly 9%. So a good month, a much needed good month all round for global equity markets. And in fact, the MSCI World Index, which is a broad measure of global equities, that's risen around 26.5% from its absolute bottom during March. Yes, and we can just see that on this chart here, 23rd of March. Um, yes, it was around there, yeah. Uh, James, is there any anything that's not done so well throughout April? Yeah, well, one thing which didn't recover during the month was the oil price, which has continued to plummet. Um, because of the um, global crisis, demand for oil has just fallen off a cliff, basically. And so there's a huge amount of excess supply, and that has a big effect on storage costs. So much so that at one point during the month, the price of oil turned negative for the first time ever. In other words, uh, oil producers were paying buyers to take the oil off their hands, which has never happened before. Uh, um, so looking ahead in May, I think I know the answer to this, but are we expecting volatility to continue? Well, the crisis certainly isn't over. Um, despite markets recovering some of their losses, we expect volatility to continue. Uh, the VIX index, which measures the implied volatility of the US equity market, it's fallen from its huge peak of uh, just over 80 to currently sit at around 35. But that's still a long way above its 10-year average of 17, which means investors expect volatility to persist in markets for now. Sure, sure. And we'll continue to navigate those as we are. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, James. Thanks, Leo. Talk soon. Take care. See you.